This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, okay. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is production order creation. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are we will see what is production order, overview of production order, structure and elements of production order, what data is is maintained in the production order. Master data required for production order. To create a production order, uh, what master data is required? Prerequisites, basically. Methods of creation of production order. Different uh, methods of creating the production order. We will see that. Creation of production order from planned order. How to, how to create a production order from a planned order. We will understand that. Manual creation of production order. How to create a production order manually without a planned order. Okay, we will see that. Master data selection during production order creation. When you create a production order, how the master data is selected into the production order. Effects of creation of production order. When you create a production order, what happens actually? We will cover that. And status management in the production order. Okay. There will be a status in the production order. What is that status? Why it is used? You will understand. So these are the topics we will be covering in the production order creation. Okay. So basically, uh, what is a production order? A production order defines which material is to be processed, at which location, at what time, and how much work is required. Okay, so basically, production order is like a giving a request to the production team to start the manufacturing. Okay, without a production order, normally they will not start the production. It's a it's a prerequisite to start the production activity. So in that production order, you have which material is to be processed? So what material you are going to produce? At which location? What are your work centers, machines, and timings? It will have all the planned timings, planned start date, start time, a planned finish date, finish time, all those information you will have it in the production order. And also, it also defines which resources are to be used and how the order cost are to be set. It will contain cost information also. Okay, I'll show you that in the system. Okay, as soon as a planned order or other request is generated from MRP, material requirement planning, we discussed this already. When you run MRP, if there is no if there is no sufficient stock, then system will generate a planned order. We discussed this already. Okay, this information, the information is passed on to the shop floor control. The order relevant data is also added to ensure complete order processing. So that means by converting this planned order to production order, they will pass on the information to the production department to start the manufacturing. Okay, so to, to start the production, the mandatory is production order. It is a prerequisite. They should have a production order. Okay, you can use the production order to specify what is to be produced, the one which I just explained, what product or what material you are going to produce, when production is to take place, okay, timings, all your planned uh, start, start date, start time, finish date, finish time, all those things, which capacity is to process the order, nothing but your machines basically, you will have the work center data, how much production cost, it will have the production cost also. I will show you all these things in the system, okay? So this is the flow we are discussing. So what we did is we enter the forecast, we enter the forecast, into the system in the demand management using PIRs. Okay, and from the sales and distribution module, you will receive the sales orders, customer orders from the sales. Okay, and we they execute MRP. And when they execute MRP, if there is no sufficient stock according to the requirement, system will generate planned orders. Planned orders. Till this part we covered already. We covered already. From here onwards, we will be converting the planned order to production orders. And then we will see this entire flow in the, our subsequent sessions. So planning part we completed. Now we are we are starting the execution part, production order execution. Okay. Uh, so this is the master data uh, required for production order. So normally to create a production order, we should have materials, material data, all the material masters and everything. Then you should have bomb. Bill of material. We discussed this during our master data classes. Okay. To produce that product, what are the input metals required? Bomb. Okay. And then routing. Routing is what are the operations you are going to carry out and where these operations are carried out, work centers. 
this also we discussed during our master data classes and work centers work centers work centers are nothing but machines okay so this is the information required and also PRT is production resource tool but this is not mandatory this is optional okay this is optional okay and apart from this you club this bomb and routing into production version into a production version this is also mandatory in s4 hana to create a production order production version is mandatory without production version you cannot create a production order in ecc it was optional but in s4 hana now it is mandatory production version is mandatory without production version you cannot create order even though you have bomb and routing still you need a production version you need to club them into a production version that is mandatory okay so already we discussed it about this master data extensively in our master data classes okay so now this is the basically this is the production order execution flow okay so when you run mrp system will generate a order planned order that is nothing but order request this planned order is converted to production order this step this step today we are carrying out we are we are we are discussing on this part and in the subsequent classes once the order is created we will discuss the remaining remaining steps okay in the next five six classes we will be covering this entire production order execution flow so today we are discussing order creation how to create a production order okay so this is a production order data the information contained in the production order once we create the order i'll come to this i'll come to this slide okay so now we will talk about production order creation okay so production order normally can be created in two ways one is with planned order so mrp will generate a planned order mrp will generate a planned order okay this planned order is converted to production order production order this is one method another method is you can directly create a production order create without planned order manual this is nothing but manual manual creation so you have three uh, two 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 methods basically broader level with planned order without planned order manual okay so as i just explained to create a production order the header material the product which you are going to produce it should have production version it should have a routing data and the bomb data these two should be clubbed to the production okay so now we will see this in the system so basically when you create production order with planned orders again you have three three methods one is you can convert the entire planned order to production order okay or you can convert do you can do partial conversion you can take a planned order and do the partial conversion that is also possible and you have the collective conversion you take multiple planned orders and you convert them into multiple production order this is like mass processing collective processing instead of converting each and every planned order to production order one by one you can do collective conversion also okay so now let's see all the all, all these things one by one so let me go to production order creation okay as as i just explained first method is with planned order with planned order okay next one is without planned order without planned order okay without planned order with planned order you again you have three methods uh, full conversion okay then partial conversion conversion okay okay next one is collective conversion we will discuss all about collective conversion collective conversion okay so first we'll start with the planned order conversion so let's go to the system now okay 
I'll take the material which we are using all the time, the product. This is a product we are using. Okay. Let us take the product. I'll first go to MD04. Okay, enter the material, enter the plant. And as of now, okay, let's do one thing. I'll remove everything. Just give me one minute. Okay, I'll run the MRP. Those plant orders will go. Okay, so now we don't have any stock. We don't have any requirements now, as of now. Okay, so what I will do, I'll I'll enter the PARs. Okay, forecast. Okay, so I will enter for four months. Hundred, 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 hundred. I entered four requirements. Okay, now I'm saving this. This we already discussed entering the forecast okay so we are here i entered the forecast okay into the demand management pas planned independent requirements now i'll run mrp as there is no stock system will generate planned orders okay so i'm running mrp now mrp we discussed already extensively i'm running mrp i did mrp so now if you go to the stock requirement list you refresh the screen you will get the planned orders you see this is the forecast and these are the planned orders these are the planned orders okay one two three four four planned orders got generated okay so so before uh, uh, converting the planned order to production order you, we need to understand some concepts so to convert the planned order to production order to convert a planned order to a production order in the planned order you should have an indicator called conversion indicator has to be set up this this set will be there automatically if you have that then only you can convert the planned order to production order okay otherwise system will not help okay i'll show you this so if you go to one of the planned order i am in the md04 screen if you see you have a planned order here if you double click okay and go to the planned order if you see there is a button display element if you go to this planned order it will have this indicator conversion indicator it's already set so this has to be activated then only you can convert the planned order to production order. it's already there normally by, by default system will activate this okay now another most important thing is when you create a planned order when system creates a planned orders for the down level materials system will automatically generate the dependent requirements of course we discussed this already okay dependent requirements it will generate and when you convert this planned order to production order this dependent requirements of the bomb components will become reservations reservations i will show you this if you see here i am in the planned order here in the planned order you see there is a button called component overview if you click on that button it will take you to the components bomb components suppose if i go to one of the component let's say i'll go to 561 if i go to this it's md04 and you see here you see here there is a dependent requirement okay wait down let me run in time just just one minute now let me run in one more time okay there is some issue just one minute okay okay so if i refresh the screen that's okay okay if you see for the down level metal one of the down level metal system generated a dependent requirement you see there is a dependent requirement here there is a dependent requirement getting generated okay that's what here and when i convert the planned order to production order these dependent requirements will become reservation 